Okay guys, uh, welcome to another video. I'm in Kunming right now, which is the Yunnan province of China. Um, and I do four stage races here. It's my first uh, stages race, you know, like consecutive days, you know. And today was the first day. I didn't film any of my trip and stuff because it was so nasty. I think I will tell you more a bit later about what happened, you know, but it's just another video. But then the first stage, so today was the 110 kilometers, about 500 meters of climbing. Uh, the fastest um, overall speed for me, you know, at all. I think the average speed is about 38 kilometers per hour. Uh, or about 21 mile maybe per hour. So, yeah, so the race organization is amazing, you know. I, it's the first race I attend that is so well prepared and organized you know because yesterday we got the numbers the you know bib numbers and then they give the you know the catalog you know about the race and uh, about the stages so it's just amazing if you are in China and, uh, and you happen to be here definitely sign up if you do cycling amazing you can go at whatever pace you want I think 18k per hour is just the minimum uh, but yeah so the front guys uh, were smashing about 47, 48, I think, k per hour, which is insanely fast. And uh, yeah, so the f the biggest mistake uh, like I did today was just coming a bit later, you know. And I was simply um, put in the middle of the pack, you know, uh, from the start, maybe even a bit to the back. So then, when the when they when this when the race started, you know, I had to wait me before what was that? Maybe a minute. Um, or a minute and a half to start pedaling, you know, which is which is okay, you know, like it's not that much time, but uh, you have to push harder, you know, to catch up because the guys, you know, they go right from the gun. And if you're in the front line, it would be just a lot easier to sit on the wheel and and just go. So the guy from Guangzhou, uh, my friend, I was riding with him before in Guangzhou. He's not necessarily a, a lot stronger than me, but he won eight minutes today on me, just because uh, he was going with the strongest guys, for, with the front group, you know, and uh, he was simply drafting, you know, all the time. Um, and with my group, I had to pull, you know, I think maybe for not much really, but maybe five to ten kilometers, I had to pull, which is. Uh, which you know, which you know, it, it, it's it's definitely harder than just be sitting on the wheel. So it's my mistake, and I think today, uh, sorry, tomorrow I will uh, I will try to arrive, um, you know, a bit earlier, so then I can be at the front, and then just sit on the strongest guy's wheel, um, and yeah, and just try to uh, try to stay with them, and uh, yeah. But so, so like eight minutes is just a huge amount of time, you know, if you. If you do racing, and uh, definitely, I think out of uh, 1,200 people, I finished 160th today. Uh, so it's not too bad, like uh, first 10%, you know, of overall participants, I think. But um, Ken, I think, simply finished maybe um, a half faster, like maybe 17th, you know. So eight minutes faster than me. So which means if if I'm like stronger uh, in the mountains, you know, you can you, you, you can actually you can actually win some time definitely on the mountains. But uh, it's just the matter of uh, being smart, you know, right from the start. If you want to, if you want not to lose time, so then do everything to not lose time. You know, I mean, like definitely you cannot predict. Uh, what will happen like punctures and stuff, but uh, just try to <coughs> sorry um, altitude here 2,000 meters above sea level Yeah, lots of people coughing so uh, So yeah, just uh, the, the biggest lesson is to, uh, to, to To you know like line up right at the start, you know, so then you can simply serve the wheels and Yeah, and actually learn from the best guys, you know that are the strongest and you can observe, you know see how they how they pace it, you know, so it's interesting also. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty stoked, uh, definitely a great place to train. Uh, first day I was having a huge headache, uh, actually that's why I didn't film, the, um, getting the bib uh, number and, uh, you know, the, the, 
other stuff, uh, the registration um, place. But yeah, today I felt okay. You know, I I thought in the morning that uh, I will just, you know, at, at at one point the headache was that bad that I thought maybe I won't actually attend this first stage. But then I thought, well, mate, if you ca you can just go whatever speed you want, you know. So 110 kilometers is not a problem uh, at whatever speed you want to do, you know. Um, if you did like 20,000 k's in one year, so definitely, uh, definitely, I I'm acclimatizing right now. I think to this altitude because 2,000 meters above sea level, I've I I've never been that high at all. You know, even even on my rides, you know, I've never climbed that high because simply I was um, I was nowhere near that level. Maybe 1,500 meters in Thailand was the highest point I climbed. Doi Pui. And, and just went down, you know, so actually it's it's um, it's not that bad, I think, like just a headache, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, during the race today, uh, fortunately, I was okay, you know, just first 5Ks were a bit of a, you know, like a bit of a headache and stuff, but then it just, it just you know, fixed itself and it was okay, so I'm pretty happy, uh, definitely happy with my performance today, so yeah I think I'm rambling around uh, sorry for that guys just uh, letting you know that I'm doing the stage race and uh, the biggest lesson of first stage is lining up at the start uh, um, you know in the front so yeah the weather is fine when it when the sun shines here but it's absolutely freezing uh, in the shade you know uh, so definitely have to wear a jacket uh, but yeah, people are very friendly. Um, more people speak Chinese, uh, speak English here than in in Foshan city of Guangdong province. So it was a surprise. And also, I think people are more keen to to talk to you, really. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how we go tomorrow. Tomorrow is 110, I think. Also, case day very similar to today's. I think even even the elevation profile is pretty much the same like 500 meters I think so I will try to line up from the start uh, um, from the um, start line and uh, actually maybe I will bring my GoPro the only problem with GoPro is that I have only I have only two batteries you know and uh, it means um, uh, sorry not batteries but two SD cards I'm a bit tired after today uh, so two SD cards and I didn't bring my computer so it will mean if I use all the memory for filming the stage, I won't be able to film, you know, these videos. Uh, so I, I don't even know. Should I bring um, the camera there? We'll see. We'll see because it was no way I could bring the laptop here. It was. A, it would be a hassle to because I have to move from hotel to hotel. It's um, the stage race, and we go to different cities, you know. So sometimes I even ride my bike to another city, you know. So anyway, um, yeah, this is the update. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye-bye.